We continue in 25th chapter. 25th chapter. Shoes. Permission is given, is granted. We're capable. Yes, you can. What could you? <laughs> what could we? Yes, we do not have to allow the spirit of folly to enter and to control us. We're able to um, find the latent love that's in our heart called Abba Mysteris, the hidden love. That's the makeup of our soul, as we learned, is a gift gifted to us in the merit of our patriarchs gifted to us that that becomes our true inner self and that we're able to access it that's a beautiful thing which means that um, to access it means I don't want to be separated from the divine I don't want to be separated from myself because it's my true self my real the real me which is bound up in one with God and therefore I want to be united and have this oneness so much so that I'd be ready to give up my life that I shouldn't forsake my faith and my religion and my God for idolatry, for a false God. So if I'd be ready to do that, all the more easy it is to give up some of my uh, appetite for things that are a disconnect from God. A lot less suffering involved in that just to turn away from a negative thought, from biting your tongue, from saying something you shouldn't say, and acting in a way that you shouldn't act. That separates us. I you might think, well, there's a distinction to be made. You know, idolatry, whoa, that's a real separation. But, you know, any other sin... So the truth is, idolatry is, yeah, it's a terrible sin. But you can do tshuva. You could do tshuva. So that means, in that sense, every sin is the same. That they're a, they are a cut off in the moment from God. Which, as long as, you know, we, uh, if we don't do tshuva, so then that moment continues. But the opportunity for Juba is there at all times. So in that sense, there is no distinction between idolatry and any other uh, sin that we do that's an appetite of our heart, a desire of our heart, a lust, uh, an addiction of our heart, whatever it is. In that sense, there's no distinction.